What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And never miss a Pitching Ninja video or interview. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Jamison Tyone, who had 7 Ks and 7 innings, giving up 2 runs. He had these fastballs, including this elevated fastball for a sword, as well as his curveballs and cutters. He faced Carlos Carrasco, who had 5 Ks and 5 innings, giving up 2 runs, and had these split changeups. Zach Eflin had 8 Ks and 7 innings, giving up only 1 run. He had these painted sinkers, this cutter, this nasty curveball, as well as this filthy sweeper. That sweeper's a fairly new pitch for him and looks nasty. He faced Miles Michaelis, who had 5 Ks in 7 innings, giving up 2 runs, and had this slider. Michaelis' ERA now stands at a fairly high 420. See what I did there? I, uh, I dabble in, uh, you know, some holistic uh, medicine healing. Wade Miley had 2 Ks in 6 innings, giving up only 1 run and 2 hits. He picked up Ks on his slider and changeup. He battled Kyle Freeland, who had 4 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these knuckle curves. Ranger Suarez had 5 Ks in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 2 runs, and had these pretty curveballs and picked up a sword on one. He faced Josiah Gray, who had 5 Ks in 4 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 4 runs, and had this slider and curveball. Yanni Chirinos had these splitters and had 5 Ks in 5 innings, but gave up 6 runs. He faced off against Mitch Keller, who had 4 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had this nasty curveball and painted 2-seamer. Lucas Giolito had 7 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these filthy change-ups. Brady Singer had 4 Ks in 6 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 3 runs, and had this fastball and slider combo. He faced Cutter Crawford, who had 6 Ks in 3 and a third innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these fastballs, this knuckle curve, and of course, Cutter had his cutter. Braxton Garrett had 3 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs. He had this slider for a sword as well as this vicious back foot slider. Look at that. He faced off against Luke Weaver, who had 6 Ks in 4 and a third innings, giving up 1 run, and got Ks on his fastball, changeup, and slider. Zach Wheeler had 6 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs. He had this painted sweeper, and I did an overlay of his 2-seamer and sweeper. So you can see how those two pitches work together. They start off looking the same and then end up on different sides of the plate. Wheeler's stuff was so nasty this game, he had Call talking to himself, proving that closers are not the only psychos on a baseball field. Wheeler faced Trevor Williams, who had 7 Ks in 4 and 2 thirds innings, but gave up 6 runs. He had this fastball, changeup, and sweeper. Julio Urias looked really good with 5 strikeouts and 6 scoreless innings. He had these painted fastballs as well as these changeups and that changeup was a good pitch for him. He fought Brandon Fought, who had 5 Ks in 4 and 2 thirds innings, and had this curveball and sweeper. Max Scherzer was dominant with 6 Ks in 7 innings, giving up only 1 run. He got Ks on his fastballs, his sliders, and vicious curveballs. I've been saying for years that I like Max Scherzer's curveball more than he likes it, but he's starting to like it too, and definitely seems to be throwing it more. He also picked up a sword on this changeup. He faced J.P. Sears, who had 6 Ks in 4 innings, giving up 4 runs, and had this slider. Grayson Rodriguez had a solid outing with 4 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs. He had these wicked sliders and picked up a White Castle Special. You know, a White Castle Special are 3 disgusting sliders in a row for a K. He also had some dirty change-ups, and here's an overlay of his fastball and change-up. So you can see what makes that change-up so good. It comes in looking like the heater and gets the hitter both on velo difference as well as that filthy movement to the dirt. Yusei Kikuchi had 6 Ks in 7 innings, giving up 1 run. He had these fastballs, including this painted one, and this one that he did a little strikeout dance after. He's got the happiest K-strut in the game. He also picked up Ks on his changeup and slider. And he was locked in a pitcher's duel with Tanner Bybee, who was outstanding with 6 Ks in 7 innings, giving up no runs or walks. Bobby dominated with his mix of fastballs, change-up, sliders, and curveballs. This overlay of Bybee's fastball and curveball is mind-blowing. This is an elevated fastball and his curveball, and look how long these pitches tunnel. And then that curveball drops to the dirt like it was pooped out by that fastball. Incredible tunneling by Tanner Bybee, whose ERA now sits at 2.92. Another young stud pitcher created by the Guardians Pitching Lab. 
I mean, remember what Gavin Williams did his last start. Sonny Gray had a dominant outing with 10 strikeouts in six innings, giving up only two earned runs. He had these filthy sliders, including this one for a sword, and this one to Baez, well, it should be illegal for Sonny Gray to throw sliders to Javi Baez. It's just not going to work out for Javi. He looks like he was blindfolded on this one. In addition to those wicked sliders, Gray worked in some filthy curveballs too. He spins the baseball with the best of them. He faced Eduardo Rodriguez, who had 5 Ks in 7 innings, giving up no runs. Erod also looked good and had this fastball and changeup. It was a fantastic outing for him, except he cost me my K parlay because I had him for 6 Ks. Clark Schmidt looked really good yesterday with 7 strikeouts in 5 and a third innings, giving up only 1 run. He had these 2 seamers and cutters, but I thought his knuckle curves were particularly wicked this game, and he picked up a sword on this one. He battled Tukey Toussaint, who had 9 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 4 runs. Tukey relied on both his four-seam and two-seam fastballs, his splitters, and these pretty curveballs. Tukey's long had one of the prettier curveballs in baseball. Nick Martinez picked up a K in three scoreless innings and had this changeup, and he faced off against yesterday's filthiest starting pitcher of the day, Logan Gilbert. Gilbert picked up 12 Ks in seven scoreless innings, giving up only one hit and had no walks, and the only hit he gave up was on an infield single. He tore through the Padres lineup with his combination of fastballs, sliders, and splitters and became only the second pitcher in franchise history to have 10 Ks, give up no walks or runs, and give up one hit or fewer. The other pitcher was King Felix during his perfect game. That's how good Gilbert was. Here's an overlay with a splitter from Gilbert that gets a swing and miss and ends up in the dirt. And then Gilbert throws a fastball in pretty much that same tunnel. And you can see why that gets taken for a strike. Well, that and the pitch was slightly low. But the tunneling makes a hitter give up on it because he doesn't want to get fooled by a splitter in the dirt again. So instead, he takes the fastball. Thinking he doesn't want to swing at a pitch that's low because it's going to end up in the dirt. But instead, it, well, this one almost caught the zone. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Jacob Junis had these sliders. David Robertson had these painted cutters. Matt Brash had this nasty slider. Emmanuel Classe had this flaming cutter. Tanner Scott had these heaters. Declan Cronin had these wicked sliders. Fernando Cruz had these filthy splitters and got a de-helmet on this one. Kyle Finnegan had these nasty splitters. Andres Munoz had this wicked slider. Rysel Iglesias had this changeup. Andre Jackson picked up 4Ks in relief on his changeup slider and curveball. Justin Lawrence had this painted two-seamer. Devin Williams had this amazing back foot airbender. When have you ever heard of a back foot changeup other than when Williams throws it? That thing moves like a left-handed pitcher's slider. My filthiest relievers from yesterday was a tie. First, we have this mind-blowing stuff from Abner Uribe. Uribe kind of looks like Blake Trinan in disguise. He had these filthy sliders, but check out the movement on these sinkers. This is 99 miles an hour and 100 miles an hour, and those things absolutely disappear. Uribe is only 23 years old. And yes, he may struggle with command at times, but in the end, stuff wins, and Uribe's got absolutely top-tier disgusting stuff. Keep your eye on this kid. He's going to be a star. My other filthiest reliever was Michael King. King had this combination of fastballs as well as these ridiculous sweepers, this one breaking 20 inches. Pure filth. And here's an overlay of King's fastball and sweeper. And you see why you might swing at that sweeper. Because it tunnels with that fastball, but that fastball catches the zone, and that sweeper ends up way in the other batter's box. Great stuff for Michael King. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Check out this filthy underhand ephus by Andrew McCutcheon. We'll call this pitch a J-Ram because he absolutely got the KO. But I love the swing by his kid, absolutely swinging out of his shoes. What's up, everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to start out with Bailey Ober for 5Ks or more, then take Max Freed for 6Ks or more, 
Top it off with Shohei Otani for 8Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be?